What's going on YouTube? My name is Rickman. Today I'm here to bring you guys a video on how to get all four elemental upgrades for the DIE Shockwave Wonder Weapon in Cold War Zombies D Machine. If the video helps you out, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome zombies content. Alrighty guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. So first off, you're going to want to turn on the power and if you don't know how to do that, I'll have a tutorial in the description and on the screen right now. So let's start with the Nova 5 elemental upgrade. So first thing is you're going to have to run upstairs in Nocturne or Untoden. You're going to have to run down here and you'll see this yellow glowing thing over there. You'll have to just suck it up with the DIE machine. If you can't suck, you just have to take a shot so you have some ammo that you need to replenish and then it'll let you suck. You're going to need to bring a dog below Deadshot over to this machine here. You don't have to put the tube in first. You just need to kill them near there so it'll suck, it'll suck up the juices from the dogs or the souls from the dogs even without putting the tube in there. You need to bring that tube down to Deadshot where you got the dog to fill earlier. Press F on it and because you filled it already, it's just going to fill it right in. If you didn't already fill it, you just have to put it in, wait for a dog to come up to it and kill a dog near it and then it'll fill. So you just pick that up. In the final step, you just run over to this box, press F to place the part on it. You can melee it or shoot it, it'll blow up and then you press F to get the Nova 5 uh, elemental upgrade. And here's some gameplay showing off the Nova 5 upgrade. It's pretty good. It doesn't really kill like on impact, but it's kind of, I picture it like the Sliquifier, where it'll shoot down and uh, zombies walk it through it, it'll kill them. It is so good. It is really good for high rounds. Next up, we'll do the ice upgrade. So you're gonna need to wait until one of these big green guys come in, and once he does, it usually be between rounds 8 to 10. You're just going to want to come and stand by this mushroom. Kill the zombies until the green guy gets here. You need him to shoot the mushroom basically. So you just got to stay in the line of the mushroom so he'll shoot at it. He missed because he fucking sucks. Sometimes it's a pain in the ass. Now that you got him, now you can kill him to get the part for the free die machine. And for this next part, you're actually going to need the DIE machine. So you can either get it for free for like by using the link in the description or what's on screen. Or you can get it from the mystery box randomly. It's up to you. So you're going to need to come up here upstairs and knock. You're going to see this box here. You're going to have to shoot that with the DIE, which will then drop a box down. So after shooting the box, you're going to have to come over to where it fell and there will be an empty flask on the ground. Press F on it to pick it up and then bring it under this purple mushroom and put it there. It'll take some time to fill, but feel free to go off and do other stuff as it does. And once the flask is done, it'll be filled with this blue liquid. You run up to it, press F on it, and then you're on to the next step. The final step for the ice elemental upgrade is to go down to the speed cooler room where you will find this box right here. Press F on it to put the freezing liquid to unfreeze the chains, or to freeze the chains and break them. Pull out the die, and then you can press F on it, and you will be given the, the ice uh, elemental upgrade. And here's some gameplay of the ice element upgrade. It's really good too. It just shreds through zombies. It doesn't do as much to the boss, but basically it's like it'll freeze them as well as kill them. So it's pretty strong. It freezes the boss pretty well. But I really like this one. They're all really good to be honest. He's already splitting as you can see. So it's really good. Next up, we got the fire upgrade. So you're going to need a bullet based weapon, you're going to need to come over here, shoot there, pick up the fuse, and then go back down the teleporter. And it is worth noting that for the fire and the electric upgrades, you are going to have to build the ether scope, give the diary to the ghosts, and then enter the password on the computer, or else these portals that you're about to see will not spawn. You're going to want to go into this portal by the pond once it spawns. I recommend using this teleporter after just to save some time. And then you will go down, it'll bring you down by dead shot. And you're just going to drop down and across from the machine, this machine will now spawn. You just place the fuse in there and it'll start cutting and then it'll kick you out of the dark ether as soon as it's done. You can then run over to this box on the back of this truck in the pond here and pick up the fire upgraded elemental DIE. And here we got some gameplay of the fire upgrade. In my opinion, like it's really good still, but it's by far the worst of them all. It just doesn't seem to kill a whole pack like the rest of them do. But it's still very good. Lastly, the electric upgrade. So first off, you're going to want to come down to the power room by Pack-a-Punch and enter this portal down here. 
Now you will have to be quick with this, so I recommend just run right to this portal. You're gonna wanna run up the stairs in Noct. Go up all the way. Turn around, and right here, there will be a yellow orb you need to suck up. And you will need to bring it down to this box, down in the power room. Shoot it at the box, and that is one orb complete. The next orb is in the pond, straight across from Quick Revive. And again, you're just going to shoot it at that box. And the last orb is over here by Juggernog. And again, you're just going to want to shoot it at the box. And there you will have the electric elemental upgrade for the DIE. Now here's some gameplay of the electric upgrade. This is by far my favorite one of all four. It just shreds and has so much ammo. I love it. It's so goddamn good. This is the one I always bring into the boss fight. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome videos. I'm going to be uploading a lot of zombies content in the next little while. So be sure to subscribe so you see when they're uploaded. Alrighty guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.